Virgos, welcome in guys. Thank you for joining me for another love reading with myself, Jo. And as always, we are sure not wasting time. Let's get right into your reading. Your first card is the Three of Cups. Then we have the Temperance card and the Ten of Swords. So I'm going to start here. The Ten of Swords is a very clear ended, end ended ending. So um, very much so that you could have felt, you know, backstabbed or betrayed, betrayed, sorry, um, because of a third party situation. If that's not the case, it's because of this person's outgoing behaviour or, or drinking, possibly. Temperance card, this is Sagittarius energy here. So perhaps some of you are connecting with that star sign, but you don't have to. Temperance is kind of finding a balance. Perhaps you were trying to balance this lifestyle or your person was trying to balance this lifestyle and you and it wasn't working. So, you know, um, perhaps it was a little bit unbalanced, but you're finding that now Virgos, okay, through this ending. Let's read on. Let's read on. We had a fly away. We have the devil. Ten of cups and ace of pentacles. So the devil, as I said, possibly this could be due to um, addictions. The devil is toxic energy. So toxic behaviours um, um, here from you or your person. And this could very well mean that there was addictions because I'm seeing these cups here very kind of drawn to the cups. So it could have been that, you know, this person was out drinking too much or some other addiction. It doesn't have to be that, guys. It's just what I'm picking up on. Please do apply it to your situation, whatever that toxic energy was for you. So there was a commitment. Perhaps this person had another commitment. Yeah. And that's what you're finding out. Or you were just, you know, committed to this person and you tried. You tried to kind of find that balance there. Uh, with your person but it wasn't working and then ending came about ace of pentacles this is something new perhaps well clearly you know if, if something ends we move on to new things one door closes another one opens so whatever the universe has now offered to you um virgos this is something brand new and it doesn't have to be in the form of a relationship it could just be to show you you know what you've kind of been missing whilst you were focused on this toxic energy here Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles. Let's find out where this is coming from. Uh, we've got the sun, we've got the moon. Oh, day and night, interesting. We have the Nine of Wands. Oh, where's my sun card gone? <laughs> away. Okay, so... um. The nine of wands, okay, this is, is this is kind of blocked energy, isn't it? It's like building a wall around yourself. But looking back here, we've got the sun and the moon, so it's kind of day and night. So this, this for me is kind of, it's not kind of, I've got to stop saying that word, but this for me is like flippant energy. It's kind of like you're, you're this way, then you're that way. So it's hot and cold, hot and cold behaviour. However, the sun is the happiest card of the deck, okay? This is lots of joy, lots of happiness, connecting with that childlike energy, connecting with your inner child even. The moon, this is more so secrets, more so that this, this card actually, um, in the book, it kind of speaks of, you know, strange things happening during the night time and lots of strange, strange creatures appearing during the night time. You know, like, um, I don't know if you've ever watched Teen Wolf, at night time, the guy uh, kind of morphs into a, a wolf. So it's that kind of strange things happening during the night. But in the daytime, it's all happiness and glee. Um, so that, 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 that feels like an energy that you are not, that you are blocking or you're building a wall against. Perhaps that's something you're trying to change about yourselves here, Virgos. Uh, apply it to your situation, please, guys. But definitely I'm getting a, a flip. Hot and cold sort of energy there. Let's read on. Is there anything else that Virgos need to know at this time? Yeah. 
I guess so. We have the Page of Cups, Page of Swords. Ooh. We also have the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Wands. That's big yellow energy there. So with the Page of Cups, and we've also got the Page of Swords. Pages are quite young, in, um, quite young energy then. Immature in a sense of, you know, there's still lots more to learn. Um, interesting. Yes. So what is it you need to know? There is some communication. I feel like there's something that you are still learning or something you are going to learn here. Because pages are also students. Page of cups has, has something in their cup. Is ready and able to make an offer. Okay, regardless of how things have gone. And then the Page of Swords is more of the Watcher. Okay, uh, often referred to as the stalking card. Somebody quietly watching you, you know. <laughs> Keeping tabs on you even. And more so, this is something personal for you, Virgos. This is what you need to know at this time. Is that I think, you know, through whatever you are watching or learning or trying to understand you will be able to make offers or you will be able to take another step in that direction. Yeah? Perhaps even travel is involved in whatever you are planning to do here with the Eight of Wands. Or this is lots of communication. Perhaps you are talking about these things that you are watching, that you are learning about. There is some action that you will be taking here with the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is more so like a goal setter, a goal getter again. Sets goals and goals. She knows exactly what she wants um, and, and does the work to achieve those things. So whatever you are watching, it's almost as if, you know, I, you're offering your, your skills or, you, you know, you're able to learn something here. And you're paying very, very close attention. It's asking the right questions, being around the right people, communicating with the right people even, and going after what it is that you want. Virgos, let's get you an outcome. Let's see out from here for Virgos, please. Okay. Wheel of Fortune, Three of Wands. Lovely. We also have Seven of Cups. And we have the Page of Wands. Lots of pages here. This is passion with this Page of Wands here. Um, seven of Cups. Lots of offers, I want to say, can can often be illusions, confusions, but I feel more so that there will be plenty of offers coming your way, Virgos. This is in the future, so we're looking to the future here. As I said, this is the outcome. So lots of things turning in your favour, I think, because you're taking, taking, taking the right steps, Virgo, to begin with. Let's say that first. You are taking the right steps. It's almost starting back again, yeah? Even if you've learnt this thing already, you want to relearn it. You want to do, it's like a do-over. But things are working in your favour because of the steps, because of the action that you have taken, because of your focus even. Three of Wands, as I said, this is something that's going to happen in the future. So it's almost as if you are setting your foundation so that you can have multiple opportunities. Multiple favours, multiple things that are working out for you. Yeah. Lots of passion, whatever you are doing. These are things that you, you know, you are passionate about. So it's okay to do them. It's okay to indulge in whatever you are indulging in here. Because you feel, you feel good about what you're doing then. So it grows more. Because it's love, lovely energy you are inputting, Virgos. Let's get you an outcome. That was your outcome. What's wrong with me? Let's get you some oracle cards. Virgos, let's see the advice from the oracle today. Let's give them a quick little shuffle. Okay, what's the advice for Virgos? Okay, that was very, very quick, wasn't it? Life changing epiphany or experience. It's a time of big and best change for you, and God is supporting you each step of the way. This is definitely big and blessed life lessons. You can break free from reoccurring negative patterns. By praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. Absolutely. So that life-changing epiphany ex and or experience may have caused you to kind of uh, 
I don't know, kind of relearn something here. You've had an epiphany or something that you have, whatever you have been through has kind of pushed you in this direction. It's the life lessons that you are taking. Pray to know the blessing and lesson they contain. Virgos. That's been actually a lovely reading. Um, as always, Virgos, please take what resonates and leave whatever doesn't. Don't force anything to fit for your situation, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and take care until next time.